highlighted JSW Steel in top 10. Let's revisit this uh, with him once again. Vivek, hi, morning. Well, absolutely. You know, we highlighted this in the morning. Very, very strong commentary coming in from the management, both in terms of uh, demand that they anticipate and also the kind of capex that they have lined up, and also their own capacity expansion plans. Uh, just to you now highlight that once more, steel demand in 2023 uh, is expected to grow almost 15 percent for FY24 as well. Company's plan entails an additional capex of over one lakh crore, and along with that, they're planning to take capacities up to 50 million tons by the end of this particular decade itself. Uh, India's present steel capacity is close to 170 million tons. They are looking to take it up to 300 million tons. So on the back of that, you know, the increased capex is justified, they believe, on the back of very strong demand trends that they are witnessing on ground. Along with that, you know, they want to ensure that India has sufficient steel reserves so that they do not have to import steel, especially from China. They are saying potential exists for number one downstream capacities to be established in consuming countries as well. They have also alluded to a few m &A opportunities, haven't given any timelines or, you know, identified targets as of now. But, you know, very strong commentary coming in terms of CAPEX. All right, uh, Vivek, thanks very much uh, for that. Uh, Sucks uh, flattish, I mean, a quarter percent higher. Canada Bank is the